Hey you, yes you. I don't know you, you don't know me but I am proud of you for still being here. Love you. In this video, you can expect to be inspired, motivated and encouraged to love and continue doing the best for you. I'm thinking of you and wish you a great day I want the best for you and hope things go your way. As you wake up today remember you are created to succeed, designed to win, equipped to overcome, anointed to prosper, and blessed to become a blessing. Don't compare your life to others. There's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their time. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Surround yourself with people who believe in you. You don't need too many people to be happy. Just a few real ones who appreciate you for exactly who you are. Faith tells me that no matter what lies ahead God is already there. Be who you really are. As long as you love yourself nobody's opinion matters. No one is you and that is your power. Being different is a good thing it means you are brave enough to be yourself. Be yourself. Embrace your weirdness. Some will adore you. Others won't. But who cares? Worry about loving yourself instead of loving the idea of other people loving. We box ourselves in because we are afraid of being different. But it's okay to be unique. Break out and show the world your true beautiful shape. Let's stop believing that our differences make us superior or inferior to one another. Don't be a copycat. Be a cool cat. Be fearlessly authentically you. That's where your greatest power and happiness can be found. Whatever you decide to do in life make sure it makes you happy. Open your book of life only to a few people because in this world very few care to understand the chapters. Others are just curious to know. Being different is a good thing. It means you are brave enough to be yourself. The more you can tap into your most authentic you, the more you can experience your full power. Your true magic. Sometimes people hate you because of the way other people love you. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Remind yourself every day. I am in charge of my happiness. I will not let anything outside myself control me. I am creating a life that feels good on the inside and it will turn into experiences that are good on the outside. If you can dream it you can do it. Of this be sure you do not find the happy life you make it. Fall 7 times stand up 8. When you learn how much you are worth you will stop giving people discounts. Everything we hear is an opinion not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective not truth. There is power in pausing and wisdom in waiting, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. What you seek is seeking you. You have always been enough. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. I wish I could tell you it gets better but it doesn't get better you get better. We cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. Stop breaking yourself down into bite-sized pieces to serve others. Stay whole and let them choke. It all begins and ends in your mind. What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. Learn to be okay with people not knowing your side of the story. You have nothing to prove to anyone. I changed my thinking. It changed my life. When things change inside you things change around you. It's the small habit. How you spend your mornings. How you talk to yourself. What you read. What you eat. Who you share your energy with. Who you surround yourself with. That will change your life. Be what you want to be, not what others want to see. Love yourself like you are not waiting for someone else to do it. Talk to yourself like someone you love. You always deserve to be loved, to be happy and to laugh. And I hope you always remember that. Never change who you are just because someone else has a problem with it. Experience is simply the name we give our mistakes. What's coming is better than what's gone. What you think you become. What you feel you attract. What you imagine you create. If you want to fly give up everything that weighs you down. My dear you are beautiful, smart, talented, cherished, important, special, worthy and loved. Don't allow your own thoughts to tell you otherwise. Be honestly and unapologetically you. Because of your uniqueness you will allow the people you interact with to feel comfortable being unique themselves, perhaps for the first time in their lives. There is no more authentic way to connect and no greater gift to give. There once was a crow who lived happily in a forest, until one day he saw a swan. Oh beautiful swan, said the crow, you must be so happy with your white feathers and elegant neck. Indeed I was, said the swan, until I met the parrot with his multicolored plumage and handsome beak. So off the crow flew, 
to see the parrot for himself. When the crow arrived, he was impressed to see the parrot with his fine feathers and powerful beak. How I wish I was like you, Mr. Parrot, said the crow. You must be the happiest bird in the world by far. Well, I thought so too, sighed the parrot, until I saw the peacock with his magnificent royal blue feathers. So off the crow flew to see the peacock for himself. The crow could hardly reach the peacock. Crowds of people had gathered around him to admire his beauty. Oh, Mr. Peacock, surely you are the happiest bird that ever lived. Thousands of people come to admire your beauty every day. You're adored across the land. How I wish I was just like you, said the crow enviously. My feathers are indeed beautiful, replied the peacock. I am certainly a very handsome bird, that is true. But because of my beauty, people keep me locked up in this zoo. My life is confined to this small space. How I wish I were a crow. You are free to fly wherever you like and live as you choose. You are so lucky. Surely it is you who is the happiest bird. When we compare ourselves to others and forget to appreciate what we have, we find ourselves caught in a cycle of unhappiness. In life, there will always be people with more or less than we have. So the person who doesn't compare their life to others and who is grateful for what they have is the happiest person. I am God's masterpiece. I am a work in progress. God is not done with me yet. Here's to more time feeling inspired and less time feeling stressed. You will never know who you are unless you shed whom you pretend to be. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am happy with myself and this is enough. You can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. You are strong enough to face it all even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Love yourself first and everything else falls into line. You really have to love yourself to achieve success in this world. Under God's wings you will find refuge. I am blessed, chosen, adopted, accepted, redeemed and forgiven. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's okay to put you first. God is always working in your life. People will chronically underestimate you let that be your fuel. God's timing is perfect. Always let go and let God. He knows best. You become a master of your life when you learn how to control where your attention goes. Value what you give your time and attention to. Surround yourself only with people who are going to take you higher. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something. But I can't accept not trying. Create in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I will keep you safe. No one can snatch you out of my hands. Do what you can with God's guidance. Let go and leave everything in God's hands. Never forget that letting go is very different from giving up. Today I will look for the blessings in the midst of my battle. If you know yourself you will not be harmed by what is said about you. Being single doesn't mean no one wants you. It means God is still busy writing your love story. If you are searching for that one person that will change your life take a look in the mirror. Pray when you feel like worrying. Give thanks when you feel like complaining. Keep going when you feel like quitting. Proverbs 3. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. 
My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked, for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, Come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways. For the Lord detests the perverse but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame.